Hey, it's Nick with We Do IT at WeDoIT.co. One thing that people don't realize is that Microsoft 365 can actually replace your file server that you have right now. So if you have a physical server in your office, you could actually replace it with Microsoft 365 services. Formerly, some people may know, know, know it as Office 365. So it's formerly known as Office 365 is now being transitioned and calling Microsoft 365. Now, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of companies, they already have Microsoft 365 subscriptions. And what a lot of people don't realize is that this is actually included. So SharePoint, which is the back end of what this file server in the cloud would be, is actually included. As you can see here, I know it's small. Even on the basic plan, SharePoint is included on the basic plan all the way up through premium and then obviously the enterprise levels as well. The only plan that is not covered on is Microsoft 365 Apps for Business, which just covers the applications, none of the services other than other than OneDrive. So you're kind of asking, hey, I had no idea. It, it, came, it came with my basic subscription or standard subscription or even premium subscription here, right? Now, what people don't also don't realize is that with this, with the with these plans here, you do get your entire company gets one terabyte of data. So each company, if you have even if you have one, you know, one user, if you just have one user, you actually get one terabyte of storage for your company, and then it begins pooling. You get 10 gigs of data per employee for this kind of shared storage or company storage. So not only does your company get just one terabyte, you also get 10 gigs per employee so if you have you know 50 employees you're going to go up to one and a half terabytes for your for your entire organization and then you can always purchase more storage which you know kind of makes sense you know you're starting to phase out the server so let's say you have a server it's costing anywhere between five thousand to twenty five thousand dollars depending on you know what it is you can start you know migrating your data as of right now because i mean pretty much every organization for the most part has a microsoft 365 subscription you begin testing this out moving some data over there see how you like it see how you like it integrating with microsoft teams OneDrive, how to share things across your organization how to you know map shared drives and all of that that you're currently utilizing today so right now you can actually start phasing out with existing subscriptions that you already have existing subscriptions that you are already paying for and start phasing out that file server and start seeing how you like it get some training on it see what you like so you know i hope this video helps hope you kind of understand that you can start utilizing services in the cloud right now that you're already paying for so might as well give it, give it a spin. If you have any questions, let me know.